<laughs> wow, that was really funny. Hey guys, it's Beauty Fit Desi, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a vegan Alfredo pasta. This pasta is going to be made from scratch. We're making our own sauce out of raw ingredients, so let's just go ahead and get started because I'm hungry. So, the first thing that we're going to do is soak some cashews and water. Mine have been soaking for about 30 minutes now. You can soak your cashews anywhere from like 30 minutes to two hours. The longer you soak them, the easier they will blend in your blender. That's really the only difference. So we're going to be making like a blender full of sauce, which is gonna be too much for two people to eat at one time, but that's okay. We'll have some for leftovers and we'll be able to eat it all night and tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening and yeah we're gonna take all of these cashews which is about like hmm this is about like two or three cups of cashews and we're gonna pour this into our blender okay so we added most of our cashews we're gonna just put this in the sink now now we're gonna take a whole pouch of nutritional yeast. So this is approximately four ounces of nutritional yeast. If you get the bag of nutritional yeast from Trader Joe's, just dump the whole thing. That's how it's gonna go, just dump the whole thing. Okay, oh yeah, ooh, yeasty. Okay, so next we're going to season our Alfredo sauce. This is kinda of like the base, so now we're gonna give it some flavor. So I'm gonna take some raw minced garlic. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of that. This is about two lemons or a lemon and a half worth of lemon juice depending on how big the lemons are. My lemons were super huge. I guess it's lemon season right now. But if you're measuring it by like maybe the cups, this is maybe about like a, a third of a cup, a half a cup. Of lemon juice next we're gonna take lots of ground pepper and when I learned this recipe I learned you're not supposed to put too much black pepper but I like black pepper so I'm adding it gonna add some Himalayan pink sea salt and at this point guys it's really kind of sad because I don't even know how much I'm adding honestly um with the with the black pepper that was about a, t a uh, about a teaspoon, just a teaspoon of black pepper. With the salt, add about a tablespoon of salt, okay? That's how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna work this thing. About a tablespoon of salt. And remember, you can always add more later, that's totally fine, but you don't wanna add too much because then it's just gonna be so hard to, to um, you know, take the flavor away. So next we're gonna add garlic powder, and with the garlic powder, we're adding a tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder super simple recipe like that was maybe about six ingredients bam and we're gonna go ahead and blend up our sauce in the top bloop 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 so as you can see the cashews are blending on the bottom it's creating like a cream like a cashew milk all right guys, so we just added a little bit more lemon juice. Um, you can also add some more water if needed. If you feel like your consistency of your Alfredo sauce is coming out a little bit too thick or it's not blending well, go ahead and add just a little bit more water, maybe about a half a cup. So guys, our pasta has been boiling now for about 10 minutes in oil and salt water. It's really important with fettuccine pasta to um, move the pasta around very frequently so that the pasta doesn't stick together. And at this point, we're going to just try one of our noodles, make sure that it's not too hard. And if it's ready, we'll go ahead and strain our pasta. Okay guys, so we strained our pasta. It is now ready to be added into our saucepan once our vegetables are done sauteing. So now to saute our vegetables in our saucepan, I'm going to take some grapeseed oil. 
just enough to saute the vegetables. So now I'm going to add some rinsed vegetables for our Alfredo. Saute your vegetables in a saucepan and get them nice and soft and tender. I'm going to take a small amount of minced garlic and add that into our pan now as well. Okay guys, so we are now going to take our blended vegan alfredo sauce. We're going to add it into our pan and I'm going to add enough for two servings. Okay guys, so I'm now going to take our fettuccine pasta and add it in with our sauce and mix it around. Okay guys, so now just stir your pasta into your creamy Alfredo sauce and it is done. It is done people. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my recipe. I hope it was easy to follow. If you guys would like more recipes or something else, if you guys have any questions about this recipe, please let me know and I will make sure to respond and uh, reply to your comments and subscribe for more YouTube videos in the future. Stay well, stay vegan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.